On Friday morning, traders are waiting for the release of the non-farm payrolls report. The unemployment rate in the United States is widely expected to fall to 5.2 percent in August from 5.4 a month earlier. Analysts believe that the number of people employed in the non-agricultural sector in August climbed by 750,000 after an increase of 943,000 in July. This is contradictory data, so it's still difficult to predict the actual value. At the same time, we have fresh forecast from reputable analysts. Uh, we are ready to share them with you. Watch our video review and find out how trading is unfolding in Friday Asian session. The US dollar index is hovering at the level of the previous close at 92 and 20. Yesterday it declined significantly after the publication of fairly positive jobs data. Today the quotes have stabilized in anticipation of non-farm payrolls data. The US dollar is likely to trade in the narrow range of 92 and 10 and 92 and 30 until the release of the labor market report. The dollar yen pair has been opening and closing the station below the level of 110 and 10 for the third day in a row. This level acts as a resistance. So all breakouts of the price above this line will the upper shadows of falls, which indicates a possible drop. The nearest target is the level of 190.20, which is the low locked on June 8 of this year. If today's NFP data turns out to be worse than the expected, then the pay is likely to not survive to the target level of 180.35. At the moment, this scenario looks quite feasible. Australia unveiled retail sales data. The region declined in August. So, retail sales have been dropping already for the second month in a row. Will this negative data affect the growth of the Aussie? The decrease is unlikely to be significant, as traders have already priced it in. Yet, the slowdown of the quote is already visible on the chart. As for the technical analysis, the Audi ESD pair is trading at 0.7420. Apparently, the pair managed to retain the bullish momentum in the medium term. This is why traders are accumulating long positions on the pair. The nearest target is the level of 0.7452. In case of positive non-farm payrolls data, the OC may stumble a little bit and then its upward momentum will continue. Analysts point out that any signs of a slowdown in the economic recovery will force the Fed to reduce monthly asset purchases. In turn, this will have a negative effect on the US currency. We continue to monitor the market situation and share with you the latest economic news and forecasts. Do not miss our next video review. We wish you profitable deals and see you on our channel with a new video in a couple of hours.